And we know it's true. Once you get that job, you sit at the desk all day, and it can be really unhealthy. And when it's crunch time and you're crashing to finish a project for work, hours fly by. You don't even realize that you've been sitting with poor posture in the same position. Well, now more than 80% of Americans are living with chronic back pain, and reports show it's the number one reason employees call out of work. So should employers take this health risk more seriously? We want to ask Bing Howenstein. He is co-founder and CEO, rather founder and CEO of BackJoy, who has spent almost a decade building a business to help your back. Inc. named his company one of the fastest growing companies in the U.S. It's so nice to have you with us. Thanks, Rebecca. Is it Howenstein or Howenstein? It's Howenstein. That's okay. Okay. Howenstein. I'm so <laughs> sorry, okay. but I'm really I'm glad sorry. that you're here with us. Thank you. Um, very interesting company. And I, I'm not, this is not just a, a coincidence. My back has very recently started to become a problem. Right. And it's getting more difficult for me to sit at a desk all the time. Well, here, we're just not designed to do it. That's the plain and simple truth. And the fact that your mom was right. She said, sit up straight. Right. And the funny thing is, we go around the world now. We're selling in 40 countries. We ask that question to everyone across the world. Everyone has the same answer. Your mom knew it. We know it instinctively. Intuitively, we know we're supposed to do it. But guess what? We're now spending at least 9.6 to 10 hours plus at a chair every day. And I think it's a lot more because, frankly, mm -hmm. that's just when you're in front of the computer. When right. you're in your car, when you're having lunch, when you're having dinner, you're going home and you're watching TV, it's sitting, sitting, sitting. It's just not good for you. Your body's not designed to do it. That's why our backs are hurting. That's why it's an epidemic and really on a global scale that no one talks about. And no one talks about the fact that you know, the amount of money that's spent on back pain, trying to find solves, trying to find cures, is really right up there with cancer. Only a few million dollars short of the expense hmm. that we spend on cancer. It's interesting because a lot of companies, they do invest in ergonomic chairs, for example, when you right. go through offices and you see them. I have something along those lines, but sure. I still end up kind of what I would say low riding in my sure. chair because I, I sit low. Yeah. Um, some of this has to do with the individual. I mean, right. it's not all the company investing in, they can invest in the greatest yeah. technology, but if you're not going to sit up straight or you're not going to use it. Yeah. At the end of the day, it is still up to you. And it's, you know, trying to find solutions that you can accommodate into your life easily and simply. We've made products to help you do that, but you really have to take it upon yourself, much like you're going to make better decisions to eat well. Sure. It's kind of the same thing. You know, everyone's trying to go on the gluten-free craze or things like this. I believe that posture is the same thing. You have to take that responsibility for yourself to find good posture, to fix the way you sit, to do it easily and incorporate it into your life. Because, you know what, having bad posture is not your fault. But not doing we'll something think, about yeah. it is. Right. Okay. So, you know, that's really as much as your company may do, as much as, you know, people are buying standing desks and with the uh, treadmills on them, all this kind of stuff, and get the fanciest chair in the world. But the fact is, if you're not sitting right, it's not going to help you. No. Not, yeah, it, not to mention yeah. the fact that people are, everybody's looking down now, too, as they right. walk. I, I, walking into the building here today, right. I walked by about eight people who were looking sure. down uh, at their phones as well. But you, you say not sitting right. Right. What is the right way to sit right? Well, sitting with you, I, I'm, I'm cheating right now because I'm actually sitting on one of our products. You are? Is, yeah, this is a back joint. Okay, so okay. what this is going to do is, as you can see how I slump down when I take it away. This is not sitting right. My gut's sticking out, my shoulders are down, <laughs> all this kind of stuff. Where We just think it's natural and it's comfortable. But when you get in a good sitting posture, you're basically, the key is rolling your pelvis forward. Sure. You can see I'm just naturally lifted up. I'm not elevated. I'm going to breathe better. And what happens with good posture when you're sitting up straight? And it's not just sitting up straight. The key is having your pelvis move. And when your pelvis moves, much like when you're standing, everything works the right way. You can breathe better, better circulation. All the ills that come from that low strain and pain in your back go away. And you can keep fighting off that back pain that you're starting to find. Because, you know, what? there's actually a term for that now, tex neck, which is, mm -hmm. which is really starting from kids all the way up. The more we use technology, the more we are debilitating our bodies, the more that the costs of this are raising for you individually in terms of your own time and life and pain and pressure, but also for our society as a whole in terms of the expense that's going into covering ourselves and making ourselves feel better. How many of these have you sold? We've sold uh, just a couple million of them. A couple so, million. Yeah. <laughs> and what is the focus as far as your customer is concerned? Is it going to the individual or is it going to the big corporations? Because I would think if yeah. you could get a big sale and pack an office with these back joys, sure. you'd be very happy. You know, it's fun. We go to the individual because at the end of the day, it's people like yourself who say my back hurts. And that's the message we want to do is we can help you. We can fix your back pain. Not cure it, but we're going to relieve that pressure and strength. That individual then goes to their office carrying one, and all of a sudden everyone wants to get one. And what we've done is we've expanded our mission, which is to fix the way the world sits, to fix the way the world sits, stands, and sleeps. 
because it's all about posture. It's all about having proper alignment in every aspect of your life. So if we can give you a 24-hour bubble of protection for everything you do in your life to let you move better, to let your body move more naturally and do the things it was designed to do, you're going to be more comfortable and be happier. We, of course, love to get big corporate accounts, but we're trying to, this is something that people don't necessarily instinctively believe is going to work for them. There's a lot of skepticism. What is the cost so of that? This is $40. And where, where are the best places that you're selling this? Where, where are they doing the best? So we are now, well, we're now selling in 40 countries. And funnily enough, we're selling better in Asia than we are in the U.S. because mm-hmm. there's an instant reaction of, you know, the concept of wellness. Traveling from back pain to the continuum of wellness in terms of, I know I need to do something better for my body, seems to gravitate there faster. But that being said, you can now find it at Bed Bath & Beyond. You can find it at Target. We're opening in a bunch of other stores. You need to be on SkyMoth. Uh, you know what? We are looking at that. And you also need to be on QVC. That's <laughs> we, just we my do, vote. We do a very healthy business with QVC. You do? We do. So are you yeah. the guy who picks it or who uh, pitches it on QVC? I have uh, gone there quite a bit now. You know, we're selling <laughs> QVC in the UK and uh, we're now talking to Italy and Germany and all over the place. It's, here's the thing. It's a global phenomenon. It's, it's something important to us because when we connect with a person and we get somebody to sit on this product and try our pillow and try our, other, our new footwear – we get the feedback is amazing. It makes all the people who work for our company so excited because we literally have people writing us or calling us in tears that they have relieved their back pain for the first time and something so simple and so easy can make such an impactful you know, change in their lives. And there it are a handful a of, of other products. You, you have the shoes here and you have this as well for sleep. Yeah. Yeah, it's a revolutionary pillow that, uh, you know, I just ran into a friend of mine in the street yesterday. He said his dad bought one and can't stop talking about it. And that just it makes it so much fun because we're letting your body move. And that is what life is about. Movement is key. And our product can do it in a simple way. And you believe so heavily in this product. I, do. I, I, I meet a lot of different founders and CEOs, yeah. clearly. You believe very heavily in it. What is it? What got you started here? Uh, well, if only if I didn't have back pain. But I thought it was really comfortable. And, you know, the long story short is I used to make movies. It was fun. You, it was you, creating emotional stories was what I used to do. Now it's more fun to create stories that are much more impactful because I tried it out in a car that was uncomfortable, and it made it great. My friends who had back pain said, oh, my gosh, this thing's unbelievable. So then you start selling more and more, and it's just the snowball effect where you can't help but get very passionate about it because you see the result of what something so simple and magical truly can do in people's lives. Well, we really appreciate you joining us, Bing. You, you are a great salesman. I'll give you that, no matter what, at the end of the I day. I appreciate that. Thanks, Thanks so much for joining us, Bing Howe and Steve of Back Joy. Thank you.